Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I am going to do a pour I haven't done in a while and that is with a toilet paper roll. Uh, most of us use toilet paper so you probably have one in your house. I am reusing one that I already had used for painting before. So I'm just starting with a little bit of white down on the canvas. And then I'm gonna set the toilet paper roll right in it and I'm gonna hold onto it. That's important. You don't want to let go because it will just fall right over. All right, I'm gonna use blues and this is uh, copper or bronze rather. I have a little bit of a teal that I mixed up here I'm going to use a tiny bit of black, just a tiny bit. So it is important to make sure your bottles are all open before you start doing this so you don't have to let go of it. Okay. Just layering the colors in here. It is time for some paint mixing, unfortunately. Um, also, it's important to know how much you'll probably need for your canvas. This is just 10 by 10 canvas, so I don't need that much. And honestly, I think that that's probably enough. I'm gonna actually, ugh, I just decided last minute to add some of this purple. Ah. And you can see some of it seeped out the bottom there. Okay. All right, here we go. So there's no silicone in any of this, by the way. I'm just gonna slowly lift it up. This is similar to um, like a funnel pour in that it kind of is going under that initial base that I put in there. You can leave it right in the middle of your canvas. You can also move it around if you want. I'm gonna move it around a little bit here. And this is just a fun technique and I've noticed that it pretty much always, always gets you cells no matter what. That's just been my experience. Once again, there's no silicone in here, but there is uh, metallic paints, which can also help with cell production. All right, so, so far looking pretty exciting. Go ahead and we'll just move this around. I love these metallics. <laughs> Got some nice big cells over here, lacing. All right, making an island over here. <laughs> so kind of cool from where that was sitting, we got some fun lacing there. That's pretty cool. And there you have it. So that is acrylic pouring through a toilet paper roll. That's all there is to it. You totally can use silicone with this. And if you want to, you'll get even more cells and more crazy reactions. This is, like I said, without any silicone. And because I haven't really mentioned it in a while, I just want to mention that some of you don't know, I wrote a whole book called The Paint Pouring Workshop. It is available on Amazon, in Barnes & Noble, etc. And it has how to mix the paint, all the materials, um, even like color theory and stuff like that, as well as 20 different techniques and then a bunch of projects. So this is one of the techniques that's in that book. I'll put the link down in the description, put it on your Christmas wish list or get it for a friend, family member. Let's do our close up. So we have the lower right hand corner and check out this killer like lacing that came from where the toilet paper roll was. Isn't that pretty cool? Um, upper right hand corner. I like this nice and subtle metallics in there. Upper left hand corner. 
So we've got more lacing. This part's kind of crazy here. Look at that. Down to the lower left hand corner. There we go. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. Definitely check out that book. It's available everywhere. And I will see you guys next time.